For your first time syncing to the ARIA Master Database, access the Inspections button and then click into the default ARIA Inspector user that is created. From here you will want to click on the Sync button at the top of the screen here. Your sync is now complete and information was successfully downloaded to the app. We select OK. Now before we go any further, we must select the logout option here. What we should now see is a list of all our users as they are set up in REI Master. Now, if we have a look at the capital user here, and we go down to have a look at the inspection information that shows at the bottom. If I click in today, I have none available. I click to this week. It shows me here the two properties that I've got listed and the inspections that are pending for this week. If I click this month, again, similar information there. Last month, of course, there's nothing showing. And if I now click on all properties, we can access the information from there. Now, one thing I should mention, if I log out of here, if I select Ben as my user, and then I go in to have a look at my today, this week, this month, last month, you'll notice that no information comes up. The inspections that we were looking at are linked to the capital user. So only the capital user can see the inspections that have been allocated to them. As a login with Ben, if we want to see information about inspections, we click into the All Properties option there and we can see the information as we move forward. Okay. So what I'm going to do, just log out, go back in as my capital user, and then I'm going to go to All Properties. And what we can see here, of course, is our two properties that we upload an inspection information for. We'll now access the property by clicking on there and what we want to do is select an inspection area template for our inspections that we're going to do on the property. If I click on here, for this particular property I'm going to select the Queensland Entry Exit Report which has at our fault one there and I'm going to modify or edit the inspection areas to suit the two bedroom uh, house that it is showing there. I'm going to save my changes on this one. I'm going to select an area template for this next property here as well. And in this one here, I'm going to select the three bedroom house, which was one of our custom templates that we set up earlier. So we're OK on there and also save our changes again. What I'd also like to do with those two there as we go through the inspections is insert a photo as an image for the particular properties as we start to fill in all the detail. So I'm going to use Mr. Swan as our example for completing the inspection information. So I can look into his one here. What I need to do as well is check that the template that I've uh, selected for this particular property has all the valid groups available to me. So looking at these ones here, they are all valid for the three bedroom house. However, this particular property that I'm looking at also has an ensuite. So I need to add that further group to my list. I go to add group here and then select ensuite. You'll then see that Ensuite now shows as an option available to me in here, but I also just want to reorder it as well. So click and hold or tap and hold and then using the list mover here, just grab that and move it up in the list as necessary. So I'm going to say that it comes in through after the master bedroom option there. So I can now save my options there and I can go back to this screen. Last thing I want to do on here, of course, is to get the location from the address so by clicking on there it will identify the location for you and fill in the information. The other thing I'd want to do of course is select an image for my property here so I'll have taken a photo at the beginning there so when I click on that I've got the option to select the camera option here and that will allow me to take a photo of the premises um, I cannot use a camera on this particular simulator so what I'm going to do is just select the camera roll option and select a previously saved photo that I have in the system here. I'll link that as my property photo information and then just select it as the house that it is from my option here. Okay, we can now have a look at the inspection that has dropped in as part of the download or syncing and we can see here our inspection for the 13th of May at nine o'clock to be completed by Ben, our staff member. And if I click into that one there, I'm now looking at the information again about the inspection date and time, the user, the routine inspection, any access information that might be necessary. Access information, I'm just going to pop in there, uh, might be small dog present, just to give that indication of any further information there. 
general information, the address information is just dropped in as we can see. Next thing to have a look at is to show the inspection detail. And we now have our information showing here about the different groups that we've got. And if I just click on the down arrow there or tap on it, you can see then that we can access that information for each of those particular groups there. So we're now ready to start doing our inspection and filling in the detail. We'll just give you an indication of how to complete the information as we go. So our option here is to select one of the three items along here. Now if I have a look at the doors for the living room, as I say, we can select them as clean, which will put a tick in. So tapping it will give a green tick, tap it again, we'll put a cross in it, tap it again, we'll return it back to its option there. If I look at all the items that I can see listed here and they're all clean, I can complete all of those at once just by clicking on the clean option at the top there and you'll see it will fill in that information there as well. My other option as well to fill in all three of those is to, and I'll just put this one back to its main one, if I tap uh, repeatedly or quite quickly you'll see that it fills in the three ticks for that information there as well. So I can go through and fill in or tap the information as I go, windows information working, things like that there. We get to our blinds and curtains. As an example now we'll say that the blinds are slightly damaged. So tick and then tap again to put a cross in and we can now add a note. Now you'll remember earlier we looked at some of our shorthand words. So my quick shorthand word for this one is going to be needs attention. My shorthand word is ATT which if I type that in and then tap the space key it will complete that information for me. So needs attention. From there I can add to that as necessary. As an example I'm just going to put two clips broken near window opening. And then tap to save that and I have a little note put in there for me. Now I can put a photo in there as well and by clicking on the photo option there I would tap on the camera option to access my camera to take a photo. Alternatively I'm just going to select the camera roll here for a previous photo that I have available. Just select this one here, picture of our window there and that will then be inserted as our photo against that particular item there. If you're not happy with the photo that you can see you have two options to remove it. If I tap and hold on that item there I get the option to say do I wish to remove the picture from this item. I can say OK and it will remove the picture there. Alternatively, and I'll just replace that one in there with that particular photo, if you decide that that photo is not good enough or you want a different shot, click again on that one. It will show you the photo as it stands. You of course then can select the camera option again or you can go into your camera roll and select a different photo as necessary. And here, just highlight a different one, bring up information there. So as we're starting to work through, you can see here that we can tick or cross information as necessary or remove our ticks there. So what you'll do is go through and complete your inspection information for the rest of the groups that you have showing there. Tap to close that one. We can then move into the dining room there and continue on with our information.